Louis Cardinals. It'll be Dexter Fowler to lead off the Georgia native. Colton Wong will hit second, then Paul Goldschmidt. In the middle, Marcelo Zuna, Yadier Molina, who had the walk-off in game four. Matt Carpenter in the starting lineup for the third consecutive game. Bottom three, Tommy Edmund, Paul DeYoung, and Jack Flaherty. That's the starting nine that will match up against Mike Fultonevich. Postseason start number two, going to be tough to repeat. Postseason start number one. Oh, what a season it's been for him. On June 22nd, he gave up eight runs against the Washington Nationals. Went down to AAA, worked on his craft. Since coming back up, 11 starts. He's seven and one. Atlanta is 10 and one. That includes the postseason. Defensively for the Braves, of course, you're going to have the veteran behind there, Brian McCann, who called such a good game from Fulton Evich in that game two start. Donaldson, Swanson, Albies, and Freeman, outstanding goal for Freddie. And in the outfield, the change. Duval is going to be in left, Marquecas in right, Acuna Jr. in center. Matt Joyce is out. First change for the Atlanta Braves in their starting lineup. You heard Lauren ask Brian Snitker. He said, playing a little bit of a hunch right here. You're going with a right-handed bat against a power right-handed pitcher instead of the lefty Joyce. But as we all saw here in game two, Adam Duvall had one of the signature moments of that game, a two-run home run off Jack Flaherty. All the pieces in place. That is Tom Hallion calling the balls and strikes. Ed Hickox, Pat Hoberg, Alan Porter on the bases. In the outfield, it's Sam Holbrook. And Jim Wolf and Tom Hallion says play ball and Fulton Evich deals ball one and away we go. Dexter Fowler has had a rough postseason does not have the results but he has really hit the ball sharply often matter of fact he's if you look at the hard hit rate in the postseason this year he's up there among the leaders. He's 0 for his last 13, but six hard hit balls in that window, and he has eight in this National League postseason. So he has truly been a victim of bad luck as he sends that one in the air. Foul territory. That's going to end up in the seats. Sun's going to be popping in and out for the next hour, hour and a half or so. I think that was the biggest topic of conversation yeah. among the hitters down around the batting cage for BP. What's going to be the setting behind the pitcher. You know what the setting is in the crowd. There and is a one two and a swing and a foul. Mm -hmm. Just got a piece to stay alive. McCann smacks his glove thinking he should have held on to that one. Fowler hit 19 home runs during the regular season and he takes a ball. He has had a big comeback here for the St. Louis Cardinals. Fowler and Wong at the top of this batting order must get on base be a presence on the base pads for Goldschmidt and Ozuna who hit three and four and those two have been terrific. Goldschmidt and Ozuna have carried Whatever the Cardinals have been able to produce offensively, they've been right in the middle of it. Fulton Evich only had one three ball count in game two, already has a ball through count here. And he lost him. Fowler draws the walk, a base runner to start it. No walks for Fulton Evich in that game two start either. Brian Snitker. Told us about Fulton Evich. He had been the best pitcher in the month of September for the Braves. He had no problem at all. Remember the setting, too, for game two. The Cardinals had won game one. They had a late rally. They scored six runs in the last two innings of that game. So the Braves entered game two with Fulton Evich on the mound against the Cardinal ace. And he outdueled him. There's a bunt by Wong. Fulton Evich's throw in time. That'll be a sacrifice. Cardinals go small ball here and Wong advances Fowler to second trying to get their young starter a lead right here from the start Wong is one of the best bunners in all of the game makes it look easy. So the first out of the ball game is a Colton Wong bunt don't charge him with an at bat that'll be a sacrifice and St. Louis has a runner at second in this first inning with a hot hitter and Paul Goldschmidt coming up. Goldschmidt has hit two home runs in this division series. 
They're just picking us up as we get to game five. This has been a fascinating series to watch. There's so many parallels with these two teams. They played tight. It has been an impressive series as far as execution goes for the most part. Well pitched, well defensed, minus a couple of errors by the Cardinals in game one. Goldschmidt on the ground. Diving stop Swanson. Got nowhere to throw it though. And that'll be an infield hit for Paul Goldschmidt. Cardinals have him at the corners as Goldschmidt collects another base hit. His eighth of this division series. Well, it was a nice play by Swanson just keeping this in the infield. Once he makes the dive, he wanted to get up and make a throw to third base, but never could find the handle. Now two excellent shortstops, second baseman, great first baseman in Goldschmidt and Freddie Freeman. And the Cardinals are putting the pressure on early here. First and third, one away. And now Fulton Evich will face Marcel Ozuna. Nobody's been hotter this postseason than Ozuna. <laughs> two hits in each of the first four games of this division series, and his two hits in game four were home runs in his first two at bats. St. Louis just five for 32 though with runners in scoring position in this series. That is a stat that has dogged both teams in this series. Ozuna way late fouls it into the screen. Fulton Evich, one of his better fastballs that we've seen in this series at 95. Differential is only plus three on the Braves side. Remember they won game two three nothing. Most of the scoring has come late, sixth inning or later. And with runners in scoring position, a combined batting average of 123 with these two teams involved in this division series. Ozuna shoots one to right. That's down, a base hit, and the Cardinals will strike first. And Marcel Ozuna stays hot. RBI single, one nothing Redbirds. Well, we've already seen Dexter Fowler in the first at bat taking a lot of close sliders. And now an 0-2 slider to Ozuna. Ozuna takes the approach of hitting that ball to right field. So you see the Cardinals early here have made an adjustment to that slider of Fulton Evich. Both Goldschmidt and Ozuna with their base hits have now put themselves at the top of the Cardinal franchise record books for most hits in a division series. Fernando Vina sitting there with nine as well. So Ozuna hit number nine, second hit of the inning to go along with a walk, still one out. And here is Yadier Molina. He is the reason we are here in a game five. And as he's done all series long, he swings at that first pitch. It was a first pitch swing in the 10th inning. In game four, sacrifice fly off Julio Tehran that scored Wong and one game four for the Cardinals to set us up here at Atlanta tonight. No balls and a strike on Molina. And he shoots one and it's off of Freddie Freeman. He cannot make the play. And Molina's going to be safe. Everybody's safe. And the sure handed Freddie Freeman. Potentially thinking about an inning ending double play instead gets no one and the Cardinals have them loaded in the first. I mean just a rare error from Freeman. I'm wondering if Ozuna might have got in his way his eyesight with that lead that Ozuna took. Here's the ground ball. There's Ozuna right underneath him. So yes he did get in the way. Now two of the great first basemen of this generation in this series and Freeman and Paul Goldsmith both with gold glove awards Freeman won the gold glove last year but that is a huge error early still one out and the bases are loaded now for Matt Carpenter Carpenter making his first start of this division series in Atlanta he did not start the first two games here of this DS that was Harrison Bader in center field and Edmund at third base. So now Carpenter's been in there for three consecutive games. And Edmund in right field. 
sacrificing defense for offense for Mike Schilt and he's got Carpenter in a big spot in the first inning of this game. Oh. This already has a much different feel for Fulton Evans. Well you just noticed Fowler took a couple of close sliders for balls. Uh, the first pitch to this at bat to Carpenter he took for a ball down. They are not swinging at that slider. If they are, they're going the other way. Max Freed already mm. loosening in the Atlanta bullpen. There will be a quick hook today if Fultonevich cannot settle in. His defense let him down. Uh. That air by Freeman. There's a strike. Two and one to count on Carpenter. Fultonevich, when he's right, does get a lot of ground balls. He is always a ground ball double play away from getting out of a mess like this. Thought he might have had one on that ground ball to Freeman with Molina at the plate. Been a rough series for Freddie Freeman. Offensively and now defensively. Two and one. Carpenter takes a ball. Three and one the count on Matt Carpenter. Just a completely different approach here by the St. Louis offense than in game two against Fulton Evich. Carpenter had a big RBI in game one. Came off the bench that game, had a hit off Mark Melanson to tie the game. Contributed even though he wasn't in the starting lineup the first two games. And then he's been in that lineup at third base the last three. Now it's three and two. This crowd was so ready to roar. They were so loud before the game. Had an appearance by Tim Hudson before the game to help him get fired up for this one. But almost immediately the Cardinals quiet down this big house. They are loaded up. Braves look to turn a double play. And Carpenter lays off. Ball four. A bases loaded walk. And it is two to nothing St. Louis. RBI the easy way for Matt Carpenter. Well now the wheels are churning. Wanted that slider away. Ended up in off the plate. Tom Hallion saw it that way. All the close sliders that Fulton Evich has been throwing in this inning have been taken by St. Louis Cardinal hitters. Early visit to the mound by the Atlanta pitching coach Rick Kranitz. Terrific pitching coach psychologist and he's got the yeah. couch out right now he, for Mike Fulton Evich. He does. Uh, that's a little inspirational talk there for Fulton Evich almost like telling him hey listen you're one pitch away from getting out of this. Worst case scenario beginning for the Atlanta Braves. Meanwhile the Cardinals after that comeback in game four Molina tying it late in the game and then winning it in the 10th inning. And put themselves in a position to advance to the NLCS with their ace on the mound in Jack Flaherty. Two runs are in. Here is Tommy Edmond. Edmond had one of the few hard hit balls against Fulton Evich in game two. He was hitting second in game two, hit a bullet to right field in his first at bat for an out. The 0 1. Edmund pulls one. That's fair. Inside the bag. Foul territory in the corner. It goes. Big bounce to Marcakis. This is going to bring in two runs. And Tommy Edmund strikes again. The fantastic rookie, Tommy Edmund, delivers two with a double. And the Cardinals are up 4 0 in the first inning. And Edmund this year now with the bases loaded, 5 for 8 with 12 RBI. Looks like a changeup from Fulton Evich just pulled right down the line past Freeman. Once it got down there and rattled around a little bit by the time Mark Hick has got to it. Two more runs for the Cardinals. That continues a theme from game one. The Cardinals win here in Atlanta with RBI hits coming just inside the bags. Yeah they're fired up on that 
Cardinal bench and Snitker is going to make a first inning pitching change after an intentional walk to DeYoung. The pitcher Flaherty is coming up and Mike Fulton will exit this game recording just two outs. Max Fried gets the early call. History of winner take all games. The Cardinals have been here a lot. They've won seven of their last eight. The Braves have not advanced in a game like this. They've lost four in a row. Last time they advanced into a championship series was 2001. It has been 18 years. Max Fried will enter this game with one away. And the Cardinals have the bases loaded after the intentional walk. So Fulton Evich records just one out. And now it's Max Fried to try to calm the waters. Of those 33 games, 30 of them were starts. See the intentional walk to Paul DeYoung. And the first batter for Freed will be the pitcher Jack Flaherty. Flaherty gets an oh. at bat in the first inning. Freed and Flaherty, teammates from their high school days, and now matching up against one another in the division series in 2019. Incredible journey for these two. Free two years older than Flaherty, Harvard Westlake in Southern California, LA area. This is a, a hard position to put a young pitcher in. Bases loaded. Freed has been excellent out of Snitker's bullpen. After they lost Chris Martin in game one to injury, an oblique injury, he's kind of filled the void in that yeah. role as he deals strike one. And Brian Snicker told us that Max Freed's stuff plays anywhere in the game, and they need it now more than ever. Four runs are in. And Fulton Evich seeing three runners, his responsibility out there currently. As Flaherty mm. takes a ball. And now it's three and one the count on the pitcher Jack Flaherty. Freddie Freeman a costly error in this first inning. Could have been the second out could have possibly ended the inning with Molina running oh. and is that ball four it is. Boy. Max Fried walks the pitcher. The Cardinals have batted around two walks with the bases loaded and it's five nothing St. Louis and Fowler already back in there. Yeah, where do you go from here. Those expressions tell it all. Fowler the leadoff man his second plate appearance turns around it's right handed another ball. Always since there is pressure on the home team yeah. in a decisive game in the MLB postseason home teams in the division series games throughout history are just 11 and 18 all time just 11 wins in winner take all games Fowler that's inside the bag another fair ball this is going to score two more and the Cardinals just pouring it on in the first inning. Dexter Fowler with a two RBI double. It is a seven run first inning and still just one away. Well you were talking about Dexter Fowler's hard hit rate and that he was a little unlucky in this series. Finally gets his knock. Freed who got behind the two hitters had to come into him. And now we've seen two doubles down the line. First baseline by Edmund third baseline by Fowler. Just shocking to see this kind of production in the first inning the way this series has gone we've seen a lot of late offense hasn't been much going on in the early part of these games Dexter Fowler a fist pump a walk and a two mm. RBI double and Jack Flaherty hasn't even taken the mound yet here's called Wong infield in Wong lines one into left center field that's down that's going to go to the wall two more runs are going to score and Colton Wong makes it nine to nothing. The Redbirds on a rampage here in the first inning. Three doubles in this inning. Three walks. Stunned 
crowd here at SunTrust Park. Just the fastball right down the middle. Nice job by Wong. We said that Fowler and Wong had to get hot for the Cardinals to score more runs. Well, they've come out of blazing. This is a record setting first inning for the St. Louis Cardinals. They have nine on the board. Goldschmidt at the plate, still one out. Nine runs is the most in first inning postseason history. As you see, Jackson getting loose in the bullpen. Goldschmidt with an infield hit. His first time up. Twelfth batter of the inning. Uh. Three deals a strike. Send it down to Lauren Shahadi. That Cardinals dugout, they have erupted time and time again in this first inning, Lauren. Oh, holy cow, Matt Carpenter fired up going down the line with high fives, said don't let up. We can't afford it. Keep the pressure on. They know what the Braves are capable of. Pile it on is the message. Pile it on. They have done nine runs on five hits, two bases loaded walks, a couple of doubles producing two runs as Goldschmidt sends one to right field on the run and Marquecas able to make the play second out of the inning Goldschmidt flies out Wong goes to third and a whole lot of damage done between out number one and out number two think about it this way this record inning started by the Cardinals playing small ball by Wong bunting Fowler over they played for one they got nine and between the outs five hits two walks it was an error five hits three walks actually one of those intentional Marcelo Zuna now he had a single in an RBI his first time up uh. and a strike Cardinals have five hits in this inning with runners in scoring position they only had four the previous four games Max free deals at 01 oh. and that one misses one ball one strike. I mean the elation of a game two victory has all come crashing down for Fulton Evans just wiped away. Ozuna turns on one pulls it foul into the netting. Ozuna's got a chance to set some postseason history himself mentioned he had multi hit games in his first four games of his postseason career. He is a hit away from five multi hit games. No one's ever had five in a row in a best of five postseason series. Ozuna could become the first and we're just getting started. Mm. Count remains at a ball and two strikes on Ozuna. And Jack Flaherty. One of the game's best pitchers made for this big stage. Took a tough luck loss in game two. Fulton Evich outpitched him. And he knows he is going to have a massive lead with which to work. Ozuna strikes out. McCann's got to chase it down. He falls down. He can't make the throw. And Ozuna's going to be safe. Another run's going to score as the Braves cannot secure the strikeout. It is 10 to nothing, St. Louis. In the first inning. Carnival of errors here now for the Braves. Good breaking ball gets away from McCann. Zuna wasn't even going to run until he was told by the hitter on the on deck circle to run. And once he started running McCann could never get to it. Once he got to it he fell. He tried to throw it from a falling position and never got it there. Mm. There'll be a strikeout and a wild pitch to score the 10 runs. Ties a postseason record for runs in any oh. inning. It is a postseason record all time for runs in a first inning. So much hope. This series has been so well played so crisp just great games old school games great pitching performances from the starters and to have it all just washed here in the first ah. inning I mean 10 runs is 10 runs 
we went into game two start saying that Flaherty would have had more wins this year if he had had better run production by his offense. Well, he got it all tonight. Yeah, he saved it all <laughs> for the postseason, right? Molina, a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes to count on Yadier Molina. Molina's game tying RBI single was in the eighth inning of game four. And then won it with the sack fly in the tenth inning. Just survived to the next game. That's been the theme. Once the Braves took hold of the series and had the Cardinals facing elimination for game four, Braves won games two and three. That's been the battle cry for St. Louis. 2 2 pitch on the ground. Donaldson from the knee will make the throw, and that mercifully retires the side. What an inning! A 10 spot for the St. Louis Cardinals. Scored them every which way. In a half inning that took 26 minutes, the Redbirds are rolling.